Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of divisibility, specifically how to tell when a number is even or odd, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So this term divisibility is going to be important for us today. In this divisibility, you see the word division almost in there. We're looking to see if a number is divisible by 2. Because when a number is divisible by 2, that means it's going to be even. So even numbers are those that can be divided by 2. And those that are odd are not. So odd is pretty simple. Can't be divided by 2. And so in second grade, you started looking at even and odd up to 40. But let's see if we can extend that divisibility rule up to the largest number you can possibly think of. Let's start pretty simple. So if I'm going to show you 2, I'm going to split it in half, then I can do 1 on each side. So that's going to be even. But if I were to go to 3, and I were to try to split it up, 1, 2, but then that third one's got to go somewhere. I don't have any room for it. So that's going to be odd. And the difference is even numbers can be split evenly into two chunks, just like 2 has one on each side. Odd numbers cannot. So as we go up here, we've got 4, and we can put 2 on each side, so that's going to be even. And 5, and you see how this is going to go. You see a pattern, there's going to be 3 on this side, 2 on this side. I cannot make that one even. What if I were to start with much larger numbers? Let's say... 40. How can I tell if that's even or odd without necessarily drawing all the lines? We will draw the lines, but let's see if we can figure out how. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to do sets of 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it splits evenly. So this is going to be an even number. Well, then you can tell the next one is going to be odd because if I had to put one more in either one of these columns, they would be unbalanced. So 41 is going to be odd. And so what I want us to see here is just look at the ones place. When your ones place is a zero, so let's take 10, that's an easy one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's even. If your ones place is a zero, then you are going to be even. So even is going to have ones place of zero. What about 2? It looks like 2 is even up here. Let me see what happens if I do 12. That's going to be a little bit easier. I'm going to start it down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, that's going to be even. So it looks like if you have a 2 in the 1's place, that's also going to be even. This 4 looked like it was even. Let's double check with 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is even as well. So here's what we know. If your 1's place has a 0, a 2, a 4, what about 6 and 8? Let's try 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ha, fit it in there. That's even. So 0, 2, 4, 6, and I think 18 might work. Let's try 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes. So if your ones place has got a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, you are even. You are odd then if you've got anything else. Look at this. We found this 1. That's odd. We know even if we just had 1, there's no way we can make that even. 3 was also odd. So you see this pattern goes back and forth. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if your 1's place is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, you're even. If 1's place is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, you are odd.